Taking a cruise. Mary and her husband John are on a cruise. This cruise is so exciting and relaxing all at the same time. I feel like we're honeymooners cruising out here on the Caribbean. Yes. Oh, the Cayman Islands yesterday were heaven. Right. To walk on the same beaches as Christopher Columbus. Wow. Honey, why don't we try that French restaurant on the upper deck tonight? Why not? I'm going to try my luck at the casino right now. And I'm off to get my tropical rain shower. I want to see the stage show Live Legends after dinner. Ooh, I can't wait! Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, Barbara Streisand, Diana Ross. And we'll be docking at the New Orleans port at nine tomorrow morning. This is one adventure after the other. See you, dear. Take care. Paying a bill. John is talking to a shoe store salesperson about buying a pair of shoes. May I see those shoes, please? They're really a good buy. Here you are. They aren't the latest style, are they? No, sir. But that's why they're a bargain. I see. These are top quality shoes. All right, I'll take them. Can I give you a check? I'm sorry, sir. We do not accept personal checks. A credit card? Yes. Okay. Then charge it to my card, please. All right, sir. Warranty. Mary is at a store returning her purchase because it is defective. Hello, ma'am. What can I do for you? Could I have a refund on this? Is anything wrong with it? Yes, this part is defective. I didn't notice it when I bought it. Oh. I'm sorry about that. May I see your sales slip, please? Yes, here it is. The salesperson looks at the sales slip. I'm sorry, ma'am. Your refund period expired ten days ago. Ah,、uh, what difference does ten days make? Well, even though you can't get a refund on it, I can let you exchange it for another one or anything else. Ah. <sighs> Do you have exactly the same kind, the same color, style, and size? Let me see. Hmm. This one is the same style and size, but just the color is different. Oh, it looks like I have no choice. Can you order one in this same color? I can sure try. Hold on, just a minute. Wrong number. Mary is calling David, her friend, but she has the wrong number. Hello. Hello. I'd like to speak to David. I'm sorry, but there's no one here by that name. Isn't this the Smiths? Yes, this is the Smiths. What number are you calling? I was calling five 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 two eight nine three. Maybe my finger slipped and I touched the wrong number. No, you called the right number. This is five 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 two eight nine three. Really? But there's no one named David here. Oh, sorry to have bothered you. I'll check the number again. That's all right. Bye bye. Talking on the phone. Mary is calling her friend Rose to chat. May I speak to Rose? Speaking. Oh, hello, Rose. Who's this? This is Mary. Oh, Mary, how are you? Fine, thank you. How have you been? Terrible. 
What's wrong? I've got a bad cold. I need to stay indoors. I'm so sorry to hear that, Rose. Have a good rest, and I hope you feel better soon. Leaving a message. Nancy is calling her friend Lily, but she is out of town. So Lily's mom, Mary, offers to take a message. Hello, may I speak to Lily Smith, please? Lily is out of town till Friday. Oh, that's too bad. May I ask who's calling, please? This is Nancy Wilson. Is there another number where I can reach her? I'm sorry, Nancy. She's on a trip, and there's no way to contact her. I really have to talk to her, Mrs. Smith. Can I take a message? She might call here this evening. Yes, please tell her to call me right away. It's urgent. Your number, please. She knows my number. All right, Nancy. I'll let her know. Collect call. Mary is placing a collect call to her niece Sally. Operator, may I help you? Hello, I'd like to make a collect call to New York. Station to station or person to person? Person to person. Okay, who are you calling? Sally Black. Her number is seven one eight five 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 four eight three seven. What's your name, please? Mary Smith. I'm her niece. All right, hold the line, please. The operator makes the call. I have a collect call for Sally Black from Mary Smith. Will you accept the charges? Yes, this is Sally Black. I'll accept the charges. Go ahead, please. Seeing the doctor. Mary is at the doctor's office because she has a stomach ache. What seems to be the problem? I have a terrible stomach ache. How long have you been like this? Since Saturday night. Any other symptoms? Yes, I also feel dizzy. Can you think of anything you ate for dinner Saturday that might have caused it? Ah, uh, all I can think of is the fish we had. It didn't taste quite right. That might be it. Get this prescription filled at the pharmacy. Take one tablet right away, and you should be feeling better soon. Thank you, doctor. I also suggest that you follow a special diet. What's that? You should stick to eating lighter foods. Drugstore. John is at the drugstore having a prescription filled. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to have this prescription filled. It'll take just a few minutes, sir. Is there anything else? Yes, I'd like some toothpaste. What brand? Colgate, please. The toothpaste is in that aisle there. Thanks so much. A few minutes later. Here's your prescription. Thank you. Be sure to follow the directions. Take one tablet three times a day. I understand. One tablet three times a day. That's right. Bye now. Opening an account. John is at the bank opening an account. Can I help you with something? Yes, I would like to open an account with your bank. Do you want a checking or a savings account? Actually, I want both. Please fill out these forms first. John fills out the forms. Here you are. May I see your ID, please? Here you are. Please sign on both signature cards. Do I have to make a minimum deposit in order to open an account? Yes, for a checking account, the minimum is five hundred dollars. 
For a savings account, it depends on the type of account you wish to open. Making a withdrawal. Mary is at the bank making a withdrawal. I'd like to make a withdrawal. How much would you like? Could you first check the balance left in my checking account, please? I'll write it down for you. The clerk hands a slip to Mary. Ooh, okay. Hmm, in that case, I'll just take out $800. Please fill out this withdrawal slip. Mary fills out the slip. Here you are. May I see your ID, please? Oh, sure. How would you like your money? Could I have five hundreds, two fifties, and the rest in twenties, please? Certainly. Here you are. Post office. Mary is at the post office mailing a letter to New York. I'd like to send this letter to New York. Airmail or surface mail? Do you happen to know the airmail rate to New York? I can easily look it up. It's 32 cents for the first ounce and 26 cents for each additional ounce. Huh, how long does it take for a letter to get there by airmail? Normally, it takes three or four days. Okay, airmail, please. And I'd like to register it, too, please. Would you like to insure it, too? No, there's only a check and a photograph. What's the postage on it, then? That'll be a dollar and eighty-three cents. Okay, here you are. And here's your receipt.